Hello, welcome back to Divine Honesty. And today we're going to be doing a reading for my pinch pinch, my cancers, okay? My moons, okay? Very loyal, very emotional. I love me some cancers. One of my favorite people are cancers, okay? Now, not every reading will connect to everyone, so just take what you can. You know, we have the Kevin Hearts of the Zodiac. We have the Princess, Princess, Princess Diana's. We have the Aria Grande. So many people are Cancers, okay? <clears throat> you can get right up real quick. We have the Salah's Knowles, okay? The Ellen Musk. We need some Cancers, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be for your February reading. Take what resonates, leave with the rest. Also, stay tuned because I will have other videos and other products that can help you with reprogramming your mind into a more healthier space, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started for my cancer. So, your first card, ooh, judgment. Calling somebody out on their shit. Also, this can be understanding what is necessary for you to be happy, okay? And trying to go get that happiness. Some of y'all, y'all just tired of a bunch of people's shit. And then, what? look at this. Look at the people. Look at the men in the relationship. Some of you are the same set. Some of you different men or different people. If you look, you see different people coming out. Some of you, you're just tired of other people's bullshit. That's what I'm reading from this card. It's like you want to just either call them out, understand what you need to understand from the situation, and move on, okay? And you also have to understand any attempts to control another human will only result in your unhappiness, okay? The only way you can control or anything... Um, about another person is your perspective of that person, okay? Because inner growth changes your reality. The goal isn't more money. The goal isn't more people. The goal isn't more sex. It's about living your life. It's about being happy, okay? And happiness comes with definitions, all right? And so then we have the hermit. For some of you, are you dealing with... I'm seeing a Libra. I'm also seeing um, a Virgo. For some of you, it doesn't have to be. But the hermit represents someone who is taken back. Someone who is doing self-reflection. So are you going to call somebody out for being stingy? Or are you... For some of you, I'm seeing this person you feel like has either ghosted you or has fallen back okay and you are really trying to get this person attention and what the cards are saying is go in okay see why you have that type of energy when it comes towards that person because the energy is coming from you it's all in your mind okay for some of you what this person has done what this person has said to you is making you kind of step away from them you're taking a look back you're getting into your spirituality okay because you are ruled by the moon you gotta understand the moon is one of the most powerful uh, um cosmic energy that we have it controls the tides in the ocean okay so therefore it can control people we are people that are mostly made up of water so exactly the moon can control people that's why you have lunar and lunatic okay so with all that emotion um that is easy to be affected by you cancers out of all the zodiac because that is your sign the moon sign you have to be aware how people um, can put a lot of energy onto you, okay? Because a lot of people don't mean to. They don't know how sensitive and how powerful you are due to having the moon as your ruling planet. So it's saying pull back. Don't react. Don't try to feed every bullshit thought. Don't try to get so associated or so attached to simple-minded people. It's saying yourself means more than other people. How you feel about you means more to other people, okay? Because in religion, we call it spirit. In science, we call it energy. And in the streets, we call it vibes. All I'm saying is trust your vibes. Pull back. Then you have the page of swords. For some of you, you is this has something to do with children? That's for some. But also with the page of swords, it represents pettiness a lot of you are definitely being petty or this person can be very petty it doesn't have to be a significant other it could be anyone but the energy of the page of swords one who's researching one who's keeping tabs one who's petty one who is um you know they worrying about their outside because look at look at him 
He's dressed to the fucking T, okay? Dressed to the fucking T. Also, the swords represents communication, which is, cancers are very good at communicating, especially when it comes to communicating their emotions. You can get people to feel empathy for you because you have the power of the moon. And what that saying is be careful what you attract into your life, okay? Because a reflection of what you think can manifest. But you also attract in your life what you judge. If you are focused on sickness or disease, you will attract more. If you think people are being dishonest, you will attract dishonest people. Okay? So be aware of that. Everything that you hold on to in your conscious can become your reality. Okay? So see abundance. See honesty. And see good. Embrace the good, okay? Because look, he's going on this path. Or try, he's trying to light his path. For some of you, you're definitely getting into your spiritual bag. You're definitely becoming aware. There's something that was called out to you, Cancer. It was your higher thoughts, your higher self, God, Jesus, Allah, Buddha, whoever, whatever you want to give this energy a name to. It is basically telling you that you need to go within and cut out the petty bullshit and you will be able to prosper in life. It's seeing this energy that you're getting from whatever that is calling your attention or that is trying to get you to see some shit. It's saying go within to finally find it. OK, and there's some bu bullshit and petty thoughts you're going to have to cut out. In order to really be pure and really move in the direction that will benefit you, okay? Wow. You know, the word no doesn't mean stop. Don't lose confidence in the thought of love because these motherfuckers don't love you. That's they ass. Believe in your own happiness, whatever the fuck that looks like, okay? Go within. It's about you. You put so much of your energy, Cancer, into other people that you forget that you're one of the most powerful signs, okay? You're one of the most powerful signs. The closest thing to Earth is is the moon, is the fucking moon, okay? You can get riled up real quick, okay? Like Solage Knowles. Hitting Jay-Z, the fucking master. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius too. You don't have to be. I mean, because you can understand why people feel the way they feel. For some of you, definitely get into your intuitive path. For some of you, if you want to be a tarot reader, it's saying now is the time. It's calling. There's a calling for you that you need to find inside. If you do not hear no calling, it's saying go inside and cut out the bullshit. Okay, or cut these motherfuckers off, okay, because they're preventing you to from seeing your true pay your true power, okay. You know, y'all can be some of the most widest people in the world in psychics. You having dreams or your cardinal water, that means you're getting shit started. You find new ways to for people to feel about shit, okay. And that's why you can be moody as well, moon and moody, but it's also moon and money. You can get your money by capitalizing on the relationship of people's um, emotions, okay? Cancers, you don't know how powerful you are. It's saying get the fuck over whoever or whatever you need to get over because 2021 is going to need more people like you, Cancer. There's, it's going to need more people that is in tune, okay? It's saying go inside and figure that shit out. Some of y'all got a lot of tri hell, um, childhood trauma, maybe some sexual trauma. It's saying don't be as sexual. Um, it's saying go within, find the pure light that's within you because you're, some of you have that pure light on the outside. You're holding the light to other people bullshit. For some of you, you're able to put a light to a lot of other people bullshit, but it's saying put that light to yourself. Hear the calling, okay, of the higher knowledge. Hear the calling. Cut this petty bullshit out. It's saying cut this petty bullshit out or this petty people or petty thoughts. Cut that shit out. Go within, okay? It's saying go within. Let me go ahead and give you an oracle card, okay? Let's see about your oracle card. Let's see what the universe, okay, has to give you, what advice the universe has, can give you. Let's see. men taken okay longing for home belonging the original light workers didn't i say that i mean cancers you do have a home type of energy you like to stay home for some of you you don't feel like you're home something in your home has changed or you just don't feel comfortable um or you don't feel like you belong um because it's saying you're the original light workers 
It's saying that you, you're not really in your bag. Some of you are, but it's saying we need more of that. It's saying get in your bag, okay? It's saying be who you truly are. Who you truly are. Um, it's saying take time away from certain shit that you know that is trying to prevent you from being happy. It's saying cut that shit out no matter what it is. It's saying that you are the original light worker. For some of you, tarot reading, um, clairvoyance, um, healing, just, just talking to people. People because you're so intelligent when it comes to people or emotions. You can heal people through your own pain. That's something y'all don't realize. You can heal people through your own pain. Your home is probably allowing other people to feel home. Okay? So just take in that into consideration. I also have two other videos. The merchandise, you can get be able to see that. And I also have a Divine Honesty Facebook where we can be more personal, okay? Because I do believe we all shine differently and we are all pathways to other people in order for them to, to find the divine light within these human experience, okay? And thank you for viewing my divines or my bystanders. This has been another Divine Honesty.